Hey there guys, what's going on? This is Burst Attack here and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys on how you can make your very own outro in Adobe Photoshop CS6 CC or CC 2015, 16, 17 whichever version you're using so be sure to stick till the end if you want to make a sick looking outro like this and so be sure to drop a like let's see if you get 35 likes onto this video that would be really really awesome and if we hit this goal then definitely we, i will share a link to this template right here and you can download it and practice it so let's see and if we can hit 35 likes onto this video that would be really really awesome and so without any further ado let's begin So to make an outro it is very simple, outro is just nothing but like a end slate or end template, end card that you can use to engage your viewers, it's a type of call to action which can help you gain more views on other videos of yours or can gain subscribers to you easily and that is just so simple way and the outro is eye catching, eye candy if we call it, then you would get some good attention from the viewer I guess. And so to make a sick looking outro, you need to have either Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP, you know, GIMP is a free version, free alternative to Photoshop that you can use to create amazing looking graphics and be sure to check it out if you want. And now starting with the tutorial, first of all, go to file in Photoshop, then new. And over here, you have to do is that copy down the settings, click on OK. And once that's done, you will have a transparent document right here. Now what I'll be doing is that I'll be placing a, a thumbnail of my previous video and it will be my background I will show you how it goes by okay so I'll just place the thumbnail real quick alright so we here we have the thumbnail and I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna press enter this to place a thumbnail and just press enter and here we go now over here you can see is that it is a smart object right now now make sure you this is set to smart object that will really really help you out to just replace the background whenever you want okay so for example for example let's stretch this template let's stretch the thumbnail out like this and like this and press enter and then go to fill now okay control a and make sure this layer is selected and press v and then just horizontally align it and vertically align it and you'll be good to go and I go to blur, filter, blur, and uh, I'll be doing is the Gaussian blur, and I'll be putting the radius to up to like around 20, 15 maybe, 15, 15 seems good. And uh, here we go. And uh, you can also the advantage of smart filter is that you can anytime modify the thing, and it is just so simple. Okay, it is very simple. Now, if what if I want to change this? background right here now what I can do is that right click on this thumbnail over here and right click on um, right click on this layer over here and you will see there are different options right here replace export content edit content convert to smart object then just click on uh, replace contents and over here I will be choosing a similar thumbnail which is of the same ratio that is 1920 by 1080 I make my thumbnails in 1920 by 1080 and I don't know what thumbnail style you do. Now I'll be choosing is this thumbnail right here and uh, it will just replace it in my opinion. Just click on OK and uh, you see this, it replaced it but it is of a smaller ratio so it just shrinked it down. Now that might be the problem with you but you can just do is that you can control T and just stretch it out like this and you would be good to go no problem at all okay as same as that all right now what I'll be doing is that I'll be just creating a new layer then I'll be choosing the black color as my foreground color and I'll be doing is that all delete to fill the entire canvas now I'll be turning tuning down the opacity to 90% or maybe like 50% and we'll be making a new layer and uh, we'll be going, we'll be pressing G on your keyboard to bring up the gradient tool and make sure you're selecting this one that is gradient to foreground to transparent and just and make sure you're selecting this what do you call it 
linear gradient and just drag this and make sure reverse tether and tether and transparency are turned on and just do it like this just turn off reverse and you're good to go here we go looks really really cool enough really sick and it looks decent right now i'll be doing is that i'll be placing a uh, grunge curl grunge texture type of type of thing now to place that i will just get a wallpaper real quick i'll be back all right i just got this i just got this texture right here it is called a rock grunge texture and it looks just so so beautiful and uh, i'll be stretching stretching it out to the and so that it fits the canvas and here we go all right and i'll be doing is that i'll be tuning turning down i will be changing the blend mode to either lighten or overlay probably yeah this looks so freaking beautiful isn't it just looks so much beautiful and i'll be doing is that i will be just adding my text right adding my text right here burst attack kind of thing right i'll just add a main text right here and i'm be choosing the font akadora now once the text is right there i will be doing is that i will be uh i will be pen tooling some nice looking clip art right here all right here we go now i created some random kind of thing going on right there so that it looks some like elegant and stuff and uh, yeah i don't know if it turned out well or not now i'll be doing is that i will be making a video preview box right here and uh, i'll be choosing the rectangular marquee tool and going and once it's selected right here you can press m on your keyboard to bring up the rectangular marquee tool and once that's done go to style over here in the taskbar or this over here and uh, over, the, uh, over here in the taskbar and put it on fixed size and put the width to 512 by height and, and put the height to 288 so I'll be just pressing once on the canvas and it will bring up the selection and I'll be doing is that I'll be control I'll be right clicking on this and transform selection if you want it and here we go like this and it just helps us transform the selection properly if we want to modify something okay and uh, I'll be doing is that right click on this stroke and this put a stroke of 5 pixels and I'll be doing is that I'll be deleting this deleting this this and uh, we have to rasterize this we have to rasterize once that's done we can just put it back to convert to smart smart object and we'll be still good and once that's done we'll be doing is that we'll be placing a video preview this is just a video window that you can use if you want and uh, you'll be good to go now i'll be choosing i'll be putting a like and then i'll be putting a comment call to action right here and uh, i will choose i will get an icon from google for the like and all right so i just got the icons and i put them up in proper proportion so that it just fits and looks decent enough and now i'll be doing is that i'll be just over here i'll be doing is that i'll be just filling this entire thing right here with the f white fill and this one okay that looks that looks decent i'm putting up drop a like I'll be using a font called Poppins. It's one of my favorite fonts that I've been using for the past one or two months, and I just love this font, honestly. Uh, so it is like this, and now we'll be adding a subscribe. Now to turn off the guys, you can you can do is that control and just press the uh, colon button colon key on the keyboard and it will just disappear <laughs> and it's that easy now i'll be doing is that i'll be adding a subscribe button right there now i'll be making my own subscribe button so how i can do that i'll be just adding a subscribe yep this one and it is a 
sick looking font. And I'll be changing the font color right here. You know what, we'll be going with this color. It is just looking so much better. And we'll be making some abstract thing right there. And like we will be making some point one pixel like one pixel lines uh, right here. Now the normal and Alright here we go, now I will be doing is I will be putting some uh, red lightning lighting going on right there So to do that we will be choosing a red kind of color right here and we will be making a new layer and just sh holding shift We will be just dragging something like this and we will be putting it up to linear dodge Now we'll be making, I will be doing is that I will be adding a white kind of glow effect on the top and it will it just makes it looks even better so I'll just put it up right here yeah that looks good now it's the time for me to add some color corrections now I'm making a new group and making a new layer inside of it and just go to color correction just go to adjustment layers just go to adjustment and put new add a new adjustment layer of brightness and contrast and just increase the brightness to your liking and decrease the contrast if you want to increase the contrast I'll just increase the contrast a bit and I'll put the blending option blending mode to lighten I'll be going to uh, I'll be going to this and again over here and I'll be putting it up to darker or lighter maybe and uh, put it to lighten and we'll be going to curves I'm making an S shape of thing right here and uh, it's a common practice in design and it just makes it look so much better and just put it to lighten and we'll be going to gradient map I know here in the gradient map we'll be doing is that we'll be choosing this uh, this this gradient right here that is violet and orange I put it up to lighten and I'll, I like to put it up to put, put it opacity to 20 person and it just makes it look so much better and I'll be doing is that I'll be going to adjustment layer of vibrance and I'll increase the vibrance a bit, uh, increase the vibrance a little bit, and increase the saturation also a bit. And put the blend mode to lighten. And if we turn off this CC, that is, let's put a CC. And if we turn off the CC, it just makes it look so much duller. And now it looks so much better, right? So now, if, what if you want to change the entire color of all of this? You can do is that. Wait a minute. You can do is that go to adjustment layer, hue and saturation, colorize. Oh no, not colorize. And just change the color like this. And it is so much easier. Right? So much easier. If you're gonna do that, it is very very simple. So yeah, guys, that's it with this video. If you guys want to just play around with some great stuff in this, you can do that and make your outro look even better, like adding a smoke, like adding a smoke texture or adding a particle effect in the background. It will just make it look even better. The best thing about it about this outro is the grunge texture in the background. It just makes it look so much. Better. So yeah guys that's it with this video I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did then be sure to drop a like and let's see if we can get 35 likes onto this video that would be really really awesome and be sure to comment down below and let me know if this tutorial helped you out or not and be sure to share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus etc etc and so yeah guys thanks for watching bye bye and I will see you in the next video.